I vote in every election because voting in every election is the only way you can have your voice heard. The thing I was looking forward to most when I turned 18 was that I would finally be able to vote. My first vote was at my local library. The very last time I voted, my own ignorance did not get in the way of my being able to cast a vote. I grew up in a household where voting was just something you did all the time. You're participating in, in this democracy that we have and that you have an active voice. I remember the first time I ever voted, I felt a palpable excitement. And it's exciting to be in a climate where I see other people my age learning that importance too. I actually had to absentee vote because I was in Toronto shooting Shadow Hunters. So not only did I have to learn about the voting process in depth, but I had to figure out how to absentee vote as well. I didn't go to my polling place that actually had my name on it, but I went to a room with monitors, balance, and an American flag out front and said, I'm not sure you're in the right place, but I want to vote. And they said, well, that's easy. You can cast a provisional ballot right now. So even though I was sort of in the wrong place with sort of the wrong information, my ballot counted because I am registered, I am an American, and I showed up to vote that day. My father, who had multiple sclerosis. I remember going to the polling place with him and how much effort it took for him to park his car, to get his crutches, to walk into the church basement in our local neighborhood where he voted, and to stand there holding himself up, making sure he cast his ballot. Voting is really special in my family. My, my dad's worked in politics all my life. I remember uh, going with my mom when she would vote in the presidential elections and uh, getting to pull, we had the old school machines, and getting to pull the knob that casts the vote. Um, and that was feeling like a part of something, getting to like pull that last lever. I would watch my dad vote and think, wow, what a special responsibility that must be and must be something important for him to take this much time out and push himself to get to the polling place. So that's one of the reasons why I don't take voting for granted. The only way for us to have a real voice in our democracy is to vote. A lot of places don't have the liberties to vote and we have that freedom and I think it's really important that we go out there and share our opinions because this affects our lives. The only way that your vote doesn't count is if you don't vote. Get involved and remember that we can make a difference and it starts in your hometown. You're participating in, in this democracy that we have and that you have an active voice. People thinking that their single vote doesn't count and then when so many people don't go out and vote, your single vote makes a huge difference. And that makes every vote that's cast in a midterm election that much more influential. It's a way that you get to help change the world a little bit. Every vote matters, so get out there and do it. There are many people all over the world who don't have that choice. It's our duty as Americans to uh, utilize that right. So make your voices heard. From school board officials to the presidency, your voice matters. They all affect the quality of our lives and those of our families. I vote in every election because voting in every election is the only way you can have your voice heard. You can register to vote online. Make sure you go out and you do that in advance so you're all prepared and ready to walk up to that voting booth on election day. It's not just important to vote for the president um, because a lot of stuff happens at the local level. So you have to vote every single election for your mayor, for your governor, for the people who sit on your school boards. All of that affects your daily life. So you gotta vote. You gotta vote often and you gotta vote every election.